Hello. While searching for one night stuff, I came across this door in Tirins, Greece. The door is interesting, not only because it's going nowhere, but also that it's just like another door in Norba, Italy. That other door, they say, has nothing in common with this one, being from another culture and even from a different millennia. I had made a video about these nowhere doors that hardly anyone has seen, as it's happening with much of what I've been doing. So, I'm taking it from there to do two things. Number one, please like and subscribe. It's annoying for me to be asking that I know, but if I don't, YouTube will be angry at the channel and I'll be sad. Number two, here's that video explaining why Cyclopean walls have doors to nowhere with slightly improved sound. Hello, welcome to another one-eyed look into ancient history. Today, we'll be looking at something most walls, including Cyclopean, need. Doors. Doors are an essential part of any wall, and, as everything else with polygonal masonry, even cyclopean doors are intriguing. Interestingly enough, many cyclopean walls have doors, but they do lack gates. When inspecting these walls openings, it's uncommon to find hinges, latches or posts. Many openings on cyclopean walls are apparently gateless, confirming these constructions are not defensive. In many cases, like the Porta Romana in Amelia, later occupants build fancy doors with strong gates. In other cases, cyclopean walls remain open wide, defeating the purpose of defense. Just look to the sides of these entrances. In Segni, And in Osaka, Japan, no sign of a gate there. Although without gates, there are plenty of closed doors in cyclopean walls. And today, we'll peek into them. Sometimes called gates into the afterlife, the closed doors in cyclopean walls can be found in many places, not only in Italy, but also elsewhere, like in Peru. In the extreme case, a door into the afterlife will be a false door design, or a niche, that has no obvious purpose beyond that of showing off the builder's prowess. As if making a straight wall with polygonal masonry wasn't hard enough, adding these intricate and pointless niches requires some hard motivation. Oh 
Lazy historians will cop out, claiming that these niches are just ritualistic. Living gods would ask for it, for no reason, and then the dumb builders will just obey. However, in reality, early religions are more practical than they are credited for. Thus, what pleased the gods would likely have some other down-to-earth benefit. Being it medical, agricultural or structural. So, if the Cyclopean wall builders made these false doors, they would have some idea of why. And I'll share my personal best guess, hoping that's why you are still around watching. Let's start with the clarification. There are two main types of going nowhere doors in Cyclopean walls. The niches, as shown before, are not so deep and very decorative. And then there are the seemingly open doors that are actually closed behind. Today we'll investigate the second type, doors that seem to have lost their way with time, of which we can find a few in Ferentino, and the best example being this one in Norba. This mysterious door sits just meters to the side of the main complex entrance, the Porta Maggiore. A gateless, wide passage. There was no traffic needing a smaller door just there. That, plus the fact that the nowhere door is placed a couple of meters above ground level, should cut off any idea of going through there. Inside, what we can find behind the door is arguably even more surprising. At first glance, it's just rubble. But, actually, it's a second and older Cyclopean wall. Yes, the door on the principal Cyclopean wall in Norba leads to an older Cyclopean wall just behind it. Look at this line of rocks over there. That's the original, older wall, and the door is not simply going nowhere, it is leading into that older wall. To understand all these apparently pointless constructions, we need some perspective on the overall site. Norba Antica sits on the edge of a cliff, overlooking the coastal plain. And what a view it has! The Norba precinct has a cyclopean wall all around, including the sides facing the cliff. Which, again, makes no sense in terms of defense. The whole idea of a cliffside town is to save on the fortification walls anyway. Cyclopean walls were not intended for defense, but for earthworks. They are retaining walls, creating a level plain to build on top, an acropolis. That's exactly what they had in Norba, in the most spectacular way. However, something has happened in the south-facing embankment, near the entrance to the city. where the ancients decided to build a second wall in front of the first one. The older wall behind is made of smaller stones. Like those that go all around the locale. And facing the precipice. Whilst this new stretch, the one with the mysterious door to nowhere, is built with larger and finer polygonal masonry. Why? Probably because of this.
The answer, I believe, is water. Draining water. Putting it simply, rainwater would flow through the older city facade, risking a landslide. So, the excellent Cyclopean engineers decide to build a new stronger wall in front and to include this door to nowhere for extra drainage to release rainwater without the risk to the structure. One is excused to think that this is an anticlimactic explanation. But, on further consideration, it's otherwise. Cyclopean walls are still standing after 3000 years or more. It's an advanced technology reaching us from deep in the ancient times. Was lost in classical times, as the Romans, although they were great builders, did not have this know-how. The doors into nowhere confirm Cyclopean walls are much more than just the piling up of odd-shaped stones, although that's impressive enough. They are a complex, ancient lost technology that, even today, many just don't suspect how sophisticated it is. Now that we've explained away the doors to nowhere, what about the other type, the doors into the afterlife? The niches? Well, those are mysterious enough and will remain that way until the next video. Please subscribe to the channel to know when it's out. See you soon!